For those that don't know, I'm actually on island right now. Uh, Elegant Eclectus is moving to the Virgin Islands to have a research, preservation, rehabilitation, and avian rescue. Uh, it's been a slow start getting permits for such a unique build, but now we are moving extremely quickly and my dream is becoming a reality. The property is situated on a few large parcels of land to accommodate our peroxcentric lifestyle on the east end of the island. When it comes to Dimitri, my mascot, I want to make sure I can give him the best care possible, but also make it available to other species of parrots. We took every opportunity to create sustainable living and protect the local flora and fauna. Great consideration was used to design the home and not disturb the wildlife. For parrots on the island, there are barely any predators. Likely it's an accidental damage to eggs caused by clumsy iguanas. The greatest threat is actually humans, destruction of local habitat, or downright murder. I say iguanas in jest because there are kestrels and some birds of prey on the island, but they generally stick towards the west end of the island and not the east end. Similarly, there are the protected tree boa, which don't pose nearly as much of a threat. To create an aviary that was actually attached to the home, uh, as well as there will be detached aviaries, uh, I had to work closely with an engineer to ensure that they were hurricane proof. So we devised a solution where everything is poured concrete, including the parapet walls, which just come up a few feet. And then after that, there is a mesh wall, and that mesh is the same that veterinarians use, it's stainless steel. And then on the very outside is actually a fine screen to not allow insects to come through. The aviary roof is actually poured concrete as well, with a hole in it, uh, filled with the same uh, screen and then the mesh that allows insects not to get in but water to pass through to the live plants below. Uh, that opening in the top kind of threw everyone for a loop because they had no idea why I would have a patio with a hole. <laughs> Um, but the nice thing is, is that the way it's designed, the drains actually filter down. So any water that goes into the aviary can go down the drain. And that drain water actually uh, is kind of a fertilizer uh, with all the excrement uh, and the droppings from the birds. So that goes directly into the citrus garden. I want to talk quickly about this. So the way that the aviary is constructed, the exterior is screen and mesh. There's a sliding glass door that is 10 foot 6 inches and another one that's adjacent to it. Across from it, again, is another 10 foot 6 door and another 10 foot 6 door that are 8 feet high. That allows a cross breeze that comes from the ocean, which is towards me um, when I'm talking, and uh, comes straight through. So there's always a constant breeze at about 80 degrees during the day and 75 at night. So here you can see some of the cutouts for the sliding glass doors which are hurricane proof along with the entire building. And we are going to be entirely off grid. That means we have over 60 solar panels, batteries, backup generator and collect our own water uh, through a cistern which is rainwater, and then it gets filtered. Uh, to give you an idea, our cistern holds multiple semi trucks worth of water because we're also going to be using it for the gardens. The gardens is one of my favorite parts about this build or maybe not the favorite but it's at the top of the list. In terms of sustainability, it's important that I be able to feed the birds with fruits and vegetables that I plant on site.
So in summary, uh, we're going to have multiple aviaries to hold different species of parrots. Uh, I will also have an office space, an expansive garden to grow food for the birds, eco trails for walking, and detached lodging for visitors. So this really becomes the upper canopy for the birds to enjoy while recovering from injury, illness, or waiting for their forever home. So stay tuned for the project as we build a dream home for an avian enthusiast and her flock.